I've procrastinated all day long about talking about this because I really did not want to talk about this. I had a whole plan today that I was going to talk and cast the entirety of the EA live event. But instead of doing that, I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077 because I don't know if you've heard it. You've probably have, and based upon the thumbnail and the title of the video, Cyberpunk 2077 is delayed yet again. It is delayed another two months, making it a seventh month, a seven month, excuse me, delay. And I'm not gonna be like angry or disappointed or surprised or shocked. I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be real. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It fucking sucks that this game is delayed yet again because this was one of my most anticipated games of this year. On top of it being comparable to like Doom Eternal and Persona 5 Royale and Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part 2. Like those were my game of the years. Like if if we're going to like vote today for games that are going to be in the game of the year contention, it would be those games. The Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, uh, Persona 5 Royale, and Doom Eternal. Like those are the games that I would put in that category. Plus Cyberpunk 2077, obviously. So it's, it's one of the best games to come out this year. It's one of my most anticipated games to come out. I've been waiting for this game for like two years, three years almost really. And it's going to come out in November when it was supposed to come out in April. That sucks. Friday's video was going to be about me looking back in the past and looking at The Witcher 3 before we moved on to Cyberpunk 2077 and how I was excited for Cyberpunk 2077 and how essentially Cyberpunk 2077 was going to take on the mantle and take the torch, carry on the torch of the legacy of CD Projekt Red. And it's, it's still going to, it's just not going to be released in September. I guess there's like two positives with the delay. And before people, like, the most obnoxious thing that people say to me or say whenever a game is delayed is, well, the game is going to come out finished, and I would rather wait X amount of months for the game to finish and all of that stuff. It's like everybody says that whenever, whenever a, a game is, like, delayed, it sucks either way. It sucks when a game is released and, and not finished, and it also sucks when a game is delayed and finished. It's like, it sucks both ways. It really does. Obviously, you would rather have it one way or another, but I would rather have a game just be made and released on time. Like, that's just... And, and it be finished, obviously. That's just how I feel. And it sucks that that's not the case with Cyberpunk. It sucks that, you know, two delays are now going to have to be made for this game to be made, like, in the state that they want the game to be made in. But there are, like, two good things that come from the game being delayed. First and foremost, I'll, I'll read you some of the, uh, the quote some of the, uh, the statement that CD Projekt Red had released on their Twitter today. At the time we are writing these words, Cyberpunk 2077 is finished both content and gameplay wise. The quests, the cutscenes, the skills and items, all the adventures Night City has to offer, it's all there but with such an abundance of content and complex systems interweaving with each other, we need to properly go through everything, balance game mechanics and fix a lot of bugs. A huge world means a huge number of things to iron out, and we will spend the additional time doing exactly that. What that pretty much means is they don't want to crunch. And I said, I think in like January when the game was initially delayed, I said that they probably could have crunched for the next like three months and gotten the game out. Obviously, that's not the case now with how much additional time they need. But they, and I'll kind of like change my statement again, I think if they crunched the game, they probably could have, if not crunched the game, excuse me, if they probably crunched like right now, and if they just like worked every single day, like, like 12, 13 hour days, they probably would have gotten the game on time. Obviously, that is asinine to ask for a developer. And I am wholeheartedly behind them not crunching and delaying the game and, um, and, and, and I love that they delayed it for probably those reasons. They probably won't come out and say that, but that's probably why they, that's probably why they delayed the game. So I'm happy that they delayed the game for that reason. But something else that they kind of said in the statement as well, that I think is very, very intriguing is the next like couple of sentences after that whole like statement about the game being finished and stuff like that. This week, journalists from all over the world are starting to independently play the game. We are eager, eager and quite stressed to hear their opinions as well as see your reactions when they publish their previews right after we air Night City Wire on the 25th of June. 
We hope this will satisfy some of your hunger for the game as we work to polish it for the November launch. Thank you, the co-founder of CD Projekt Red and the head of studio. I cannot say their last names, which is why I didn't say their names. So they're going to have gameplay for the game, obviously, in Night City Wire. I really, 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 really hope that it's over an hour. I hope it's not like 14 minutes. I hope it's an hour. I really, really, and I have this sinking feeling that what they did is they released the game to the press and they said, here you go, you can play the game and stuff like that. And they're going to trim it down from like an hour or however long they're going to have the gameplay. And and only and it will only be like 14 minutes. And like I hope they don't do what they did last year where they had like 14 minutes of gameplay and an hour plus of like dev questions with no gameplay. That, that really, really sucked. But we'll see. We'll see. Like something, and I know I've kind of been down this video. It just sucks, but... Like, a good thing that ha that will happen because of this is Sony essentially is making it so every game that is sent in for certification, I have no idea what that is. Maybe the... I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. But whatever PS4 game is going to be, like, sent in for certification post-July 14th, that game has to be compatible with the PS5. Obviously, with Cyberpunk 2077 being released... In November, that means that the certification is going to be post July 14th, which probably means that Cyberpunk 2077 will be playable on PS5, hopefully on release, or at least like a week or two after. So now it's like you get to buy the PS5 plus the new Spider Man game plus Cyberpunk 2077 plus whatever they whatever else they're gonna release this year, all in like the span of a month. So at least that's something to be excited for, I guess. But that's like about it. Also, Night City Wire will cover it. I just, I really, really hope. They don't have to nail Night City Wire out of the park at all because I've seen enough gameplay to know how great this game is. But I would thoroughly enjoy if they had an hour plus. By the way, if you're thinking that they'll release a demo to the public anytime soon to play, they won't. It's just not what they'll do. It's just not what they do. Will they put it on PSN or Xbox Live? No, they won't. Because the whole point of delaying the game isn't to delay it, so that way you get a gameplay demo. The whole point of the delaying the game is so that way you play it when it's supposed to be released and have it be finished and have all the bugs fixed and stuff like that. It fucking sucks. Yet again that they delayed it, but it's the reality that we live in. This has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. Um, I'll have my whole, like, reaction to the EA Live event on Monday, and then I'll have some important takes to talk about on Tuesday. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.